Generic greetings and welcome to War Pips. Today's beverage is a very nice cup of tea, very traditional indeed. So once again, back on some War Pips, I've put about another four and a half, five hours into the game since my first preview video, so still very much enjoying. So not only am I wanting to play and display some more, also a lot of people seem to want to see the game more as well in the previous comments that was mentioned, so I thought why not we shall play and display some more of this thing. This is version 1.0.1.4 and the reason I make note of the build number early on is because by the time you watch this there could have already been changes in balance and units and anything in the game really, like the campaign etc so just wanted to make note of this version for the sake of clarity and to clear up maybe any disparity between what you see now and what is currently available as the time of when you're watching this either way with all that said and done let's go to game and actually play this thing i am on i believe the is this the third map I think it might be the third map. Either way, I'm quite a way through it. This is the main mission here, but I'm going for a full complete and try to complete all of these. It's unlikely that we'll get this one done in this video, but we'll see. I want to try and complete Operation Misty Crystal. Enemy lineup is a shotgunner, a war mule, a T-92 tank, and a UAS. So we need anti-armor uh, very much. So let's go ahead and go over to Mission Info, which I think is a, still a very important thing to look at. Difficulty is 8 out of 10, 165 meters between these points with a 16 minute duration you can see that in here these spawn waves quite easily early on then it goes to quite a difficult like uh, wave towards us a quite strong wave and then we've got a bit of a lull in that and then basically another difficult one and then this is where it ends there but to be fair this last section is where we're going to start to be bombed back so that could be quite difficult over the loadout then and what can we have well we got all different types of units. My favourite was the mercenary. Uh, I really liked the mercenary because they were, well, they were quite powerful. In fact, they were too powerful. And one of the main reasons why I like them is because they had squad one and two. So on the first upgrade, you got two mercs. And on the third, uh, second one, you got three mercs. So it was very a spammy approach and a lot of boots on the ground. And I really liked the look of it and the theme of it. But now, sadly, you only get two mercenaries and a small health increase. I really don't like that change. I thought it would be great to just keep it as three mercenaries and maybe nerf it in some other way like their accuracy or something or even a range because I like the idea of these mercs being very spammy. But anyway, it's a change and yeah, maybe it'll change other ways. I don't know. Uh, similar for the war pip, there's been changes in there. They're not cheaper anymore. They just have uh, slightly different stats or slightly better stats. But there we are. Anyway, we're going to go over to mercenaries and we'll try that one out. We'll also go for... Something that's anti-armor, and I'm probably going to go with the Puma because it does have a tow launcher at level 1, so an anti-vehicle rocket launcher. I also want to go for probably... Um, probably some landmines, defensive anti-vehicle landmines. It says anti-vehicle, but I found it's anti-everything. So let's place some of those. We'll also go with a base defense turret. And just in case we have any spare cash, we'll go with a heavy gunner. And I think also probably a pump jack as well. That will probably be us done. We, in terms of upgrades, have pretty much every upgrade apart from the very last one on the recruitment center, which is to start extra pip supply. Arms dealer, there is nothing there of great note. I actually will pick up the mercenary because I very much like them and I could pick up the fuel barrel. Do I want to pick up the fuel barrel? I've already got one. That's uh, to give you a, a little influx of cash. But you know what? I might use that. Let's go ahead and probably pick that up. I think I'll put them like that and let's deploy and see how we get on here. So establishing uplink and loading in. As I said, there has been changes since my last preview video, mainly in balance and I would say all of it for the good uh, like as i said all of the balance feels it feels better especially in the enemy enemy trucks they were horrible to deal with they were really powerful um let me just place an oil derrick up there um but yeah the mercs even though they are they feel more balanced they just they've lost something for me but there you are Anyway, over to this fight, and we can see they are coming towards us. Just going to use this gun here, which is hellish inaccurate, but hopefully I'll be able to just keep placing some stuff in and spawn the odd unit here and there, and just keep firing away. I'll actually use that barrel as well to, there we go, spawn some more guys. So, obviously they're coming towards us, I'm just hitting them with this cannon, using my level up to try and make things a little bit easier for ourselves, and there we go, there's a nice little attack there. I'm going to start to unlock the puma and also start to place some mines down. I find that having a couple of mines is like a nice little 
um, nice little stopgap is important. The problem is that they have these two towers here. Oh, hang on, they're coming towards the what is classed as an anti-vehicle landmine, but it also takes out infantry, I've found. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and go for the Puma, get some more cash, and just spawn loads of guys, and there's going to be a big bang. No, the mine didn't go off. It's just too far. It, just, it stopped just too far there. And there you go. There's some good hits. So, this gun is really really useful it's obviously taking out all of these guys allowing me to level up and get more get more pips used up there's the mercenaries there i'm going to press the spam button so this is increased accuracy and they are absolutely hammering all of this which is really good so let's see if we can get them gone and oh we have a bit of a problem you can see we have a tank coming in and i don't have anything to deal with that but let's go ahead and spawn some anti-vehicle landmines all the way around the place and that should hopefully deal with this tank and also we've got a tall launcher on this there's one of them gone and there's ah well that didn't work out entirely as i expected oh that one did though <laughs> so their tank is now gone so the tall launcher fired Oh, sorry, the torn launcher wasn't able to fire, sadly, which is a bit of a shame. So let's just go ahead and keep hammering over here with all of these units. And this thing is taking up them relatively easily, which is good. Obviously, we've had that wave now. So I'm just... Oh, good grief. There's loads of... Loads of these defensive turrets here, which I don't think I'll be able to weather that. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep firing, do what I can. Accuracy is only 48% on this one, and I don't want to overheat the gun. So, there you go. Let's go for extra spam and attack with all of these mercs, which they are actually successfully dealing with. I'm I'm very much hoping that all of our attacks here, we can get this done. If we can get this mission done before that next big wave, that would be really, really good. Uh, obviously, just spawning what I can and firing at what I can. Let's just spawn more units here. Um, normally I would wait uh, with the previous with the previous build because you would have oh there we go there's that rank up so this should deploy stuff now uh, yeah, normally I would just wait for the spawning of things but not at this stage because you don't get any more any more guys at rank three for the the mercs and is that it have we managed to do this attack? before I think we might be I think we might have done this attack before the big wave you can see we're all absolutely plastering this vehicle we're gonna get a big wave soon but I'm just spawning stuff as best I can there we go wow perfect okay good attack very happy with that and apparently achievement or something so 20 war books and a couple of pumas uh, shield pip, war pip, uh, pip pup, <laughs> which are the dogs. They're really good, actually. I hadn't used the dogs um, on that preview video, and I used them after. I was like, that's really good. <laughs> so, enemy lineup. This is what we're going to do now. This is average thermometer here. It is a shotgunner, a uh, Gruz 78. Those things were really OP. <laughs> <laughs> it would decimate everything. A rocket, Tanya, which is really powerful, and a buggy. Okay, so once again, going to go with, I think, more mercenaries. I still find that mercenaries are really useful. I'm going to pick up a set of dogs as well as one of those. I think most likely a... I don't think turret is going to be worth it. And I think I'm going to go with drone... That should be able to then deal with those. What does the mission info say? Difficulty 9. Oh, but we can go very early. Go big early. Hopefully attack and get the win over here. Rather than around there. So, I've got drone swarm, which is a 1 minute 30 cooldown to get. War pips 30 seconds and then mercs. But we haven't got any... Uh, we haven't got any pump jacks or anything. What do I get off this thing? We gain an oil derrick. Okay, I'm going to use a pump jack. That might be a bit of a mistake. What's the length of the map? 165 meters. We should be all right. I think... That is acceptable, but I will take a war pip. Just because if we get to a point where we can't spawn the vehicles, but I want something a bit more substantial, we've got a war pip in there. Let's deploy. See what this is like. 
a couple of comments from the previous video as well. People asking where, you know, do you only just fight on a road? Uh, <laughs> no, you've got islands, you've got air bases, you do have roads and things like that. But no, there are varying, uh, varying bits around here. So let's go ahead and go straight away two of those. And this is only 80 now for this thing. But look how close they're getting already. I'm going to have to spawn three guys just to defend the base because these shotgunners are coming right in. Oh, and Tanya. Oh, good grief. Already, we've got a lot to deal with here. We've got, we've got Tanya. At this stage, that feels a bit unfair. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to press the dog button, which brings all these dogs in. Uh, you see the cages in there, and then it opens them up, and then basically all these dogs just charge, and oh look, Tanya's dead. And then the dogs keep attacking like that, can you see that? They keep going, and I've never seen them get to this stage. And then once they've basically run out and finished their attack, they will then come back over. Um, and that'll be, that's pretty good, because, oh, if I place that pump jack there, will they get attacked? I think it might do, you know. Um, yeah, so they come back, and you get money based on how many come back, which I think is a really cool really cool thing anyway so still leveling up still uh, weathering these attacks we're gonna get a big attack here which is oh it's the buggy it's the ultimate end game crisis <laughs> it's totally horrible that buggy oh and tanya as well i mean expected to uh, deal with a uh, all manner of problems here but yeah those as well that's that's a bit of an issue they're attacking my pump jack so i'm just going to spawn some of these until i get enough money here we go to start dropping some drones because it's all about the drones and we've dealt with it brilliant one two three and there we go right so there's a good good little push there so continue attacking with these drones they do have a defensive turret there so I'm going to use this defensive turret. And that's gone as well. So that's good. That's a good attack. Let's start unlocking some some of these vehicles. Sadly, we have to go through some barbed wire. So we're not going to be... We're going to have a bit of damage. But this might be over. Hopefully it'll be over. We've went with a spam build early. And it's worked out. Brilliant. Okay. I think what saved us there was the dogs. If the dogs weren't there, Tanya would have just minced through everything. And then as soon as we got the drones, that dealt with the vehicles and the other Tanya. Okay, good. We picked we picked right. Let's go ahead and try this one. Enemy lineup, shotgunner, warfighter, and the vehicle. Should be a fairly easy fight, I would assume. Difficulty is seven. Middling attack. Bit of a lull, then middling attack. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to run... I'm not going to run with mercenaries this time. I'm going to run with Warpip with a heavy gunner. Uh, actually, do I want to run a heavy gunner? Shotgunner and a warfighter. Do you know what? I don't want a heavy gunner. I want a sniper. A sniper. And... What can, what can deal with the vehicles? Hmm. I mean, to be fair... I had some artillery, I'd be alright, but I don't have artillery. Maybe smoke grenades and a tactician. No, I'm not I'm not too confident about this build. Let's try it. This is where the out of fighting economy comes into play. I'm risking this. I'm not taking a lot of stuff, so I don't have many options. I'm just Oh, that's interesting. Do you see that? We didn't get uh, <laughs> we didn't get the intro thing. It just started the game. Fair enough. Anyway, we are working our way forward. I will place some smoke there, and this protects these guys. So, sadly, it didn't. Oh yeah, it hit it exactly where I want. So we should get a defensive bonus here, which is what we are wanting. And dealing with all of these guys, you can see we are taking them out quite nicely. Let's go for this guy who is a sniper. 85 to use them though, which is very expensive. That guy has been absolutely sent in the middle of next week. <laughs> um, let's go for once again more smoke there and smoke both sides of it. Just so we get this defensive bonus. What's it say? Conceals friendly infantry vehicles so they're harder to hit. So we can use this smoke and just, well... 
keep sneaking around basically and actually it's working out uh, terrifically well by the look of it. Let's go ahead and level up that. We could bring up a support guy, which I will do because the support guy is fairly good. The tactician uh, slightly reduces the delay between artillery strikes. They have an artillery strike, I should point out. Uh, and they're really, really useful because, well, you just basically get a thing come from the sky, which is pretty good indeed. Let's go for a sniper as well. Um, you can see they also get a bonus to, well, people get a bonus around them, which is pretty good. Dealing over here, which is all right as well. Let's start leveling these guys up and making a bit more of a, a bit more of a push here. So I want to get, just want to get everybody in play before before these shotgunners get to the walls. That's why I want to make this attack here, and this is working out really well. Once again, we seem to have seem to have picked correctly. Oh, what on earth went? <laughs> Shouldn't laugh because it's my own war pips getting absolutely annihilated. What happened there was, um, I believe the sniper took a shot and they were hiding behind the vehicle and the vehicle got <laughs> got hit and it blew up in one shot. That's what it seemed seemed to be. I didn't I didn't catch that. I'd have to check back through the edit, but that's what it seemed to be. And oh no, the sniper is still alive. So I mean, it could have been that. There's no reason why it couldn't have been that. But anyway, let's just see. I think the sniper is going to die. Yeah. So after all of that little wave there, it's uh, it's not worked out too well for us. But anyway, we are still moving forward and taking these guys out. You can see the war pips are still launching everything that they possibly can. I'm just going to go with a bit of a support now with loads more war pips and keep on attacking. Keep using this assault mode here. Actually, I keep calling it assault mode. I don't know what it is. Uh, it is... It doesn't say anywhere. We've now got some smoke, so I'll launch that. There we go. Harder fertilizer to be hit. And I'm fairly confident that this is it. Once again, another good attack. Alright, so it worked out. We didn't spam loads of units. We just looked at the forces, looked at what we needed, and got there in the end. And lots of stuff. We actually got... We used a tactician. We got one back. We used a sniper. We've got two back. And we used um, a smoke, but we got everything, loads of other stuff back as well. So, net profit in units. Two more attacks. This one looks difficult. That one looks even more difficult. Warfighter, shotgunner, rockets, vehicles, sharpshooters. Mission Info is 9. And, oh, look at that. <laughs> How on earth am I going to deal with that? Right, we're going to go with... Mercenary. I'm going to put a pump jack in at some point. And one of these. And a heavy gunner. And a truck. And one of those. Yeah. And we need some sort of support. We've only got an airstrike. And we're not gonna get an air, we're not gonna get one back. We've got one left though. That will have to do, I think. Let's go with that. I do have enough for an upgrade though. There's fully upgraded. And there's smoke, there's an oil barrel. What's that there? A phalanx based defense turret. Powerful short range co uh, command center defense turret. Very high rate of fire. Oh, okay. Maybe we get one of those. Don't know if we need one. I'm going to pick one up. I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to use it necessarily in this fight. And I might as well just buy everything because, well, we've got <laughs> everything else upgraded. Right, uh, let's, let's run with that one and let's see how on earth we're going to defeat all of these. My worry is that powerful infantry assault truck. I've got no direct artillery to deal with it. Is what it is. Deploy. We've had success in the others, so... You know, we expect a, an absolute monster kicking at some point. Yeah, just going straight to start that. Curious. Oil Derek. And... I'm just gonna wait. It's such a long map. I can I can wait until I can get another oil, Derek. Get that economy. Get a strong economy going, and then start spawning units. We only need one or two. 
And we can press that, bring in a couple more. And they're in the open anyway, so there we go. Just keep spawning these really the more terrible units. Keep leveling up. They're getting close. Oh, is that a truck? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we had the audio cue for a vehicle. Don't really know what else I can do here. Uh, this is just this is just we're gonna have to survive as best we can sort of approach here, but we also have a lot of units So I'm gonna start probably leveling up some of these others you can see they are getting attacked and I've got an economy to support all of this now and lots of <laughs> Lots of mercenaries, and I'm just gonna keep filling everything with mercenaries And it seems to working out be working out quite well Right we've now unlocked the vehicle here. We need two pips though. And there we go. We have pips. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to deploy units with this because we don't have the upgrade yet. That's the second rank upgrade. But that will be my thing I'm going to go for. But it does have this launcher. So it should go full send at some point. Yep, just like that. <laughs> Brilliant. That's what I wanted. And just once again, keep leveling up here. Place more oil derricks. Keep this economy going. Keep the level ups going. Keep the attack going. I can't believe we're this far ahead. Oh, well, that just got absolutely annihilated. Which is totally understandable. Keep spamming. Keep spamming units. The more kills, the more ranking up. And there we go. There's the level up, which means we're going to deploy all of these. And I'm going to go for... Actually, I'm not going to go for an airstrike. I think I'm just going to go like that. Is this going to be... Are we going to defeat them this early on? I know I've said that like multiple times in <laughs> all of these fights and I keep being surprised, but it does feel like this is it. I mean, we've got so many units. I could use this airstrike, <laughs> but what's the point? Wow. I would have not thought that in a million years. Enemy strength's going up to this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that was a good one. Um, this bar represents the enemy difficulty level. As the bar increases, enemies will send greater numbers of units against you. The bar increases each time you successfully complete an operation. I hope it doesn't end when we get to that point. Because I really want to do these. Let's go for this one, then. This is Operation Steep Car. And they have... Lots of lots of everything. I was going to say lots of blocks. We have lots of everything. Right, we're going to go for a fairly easy... Uh, I think we'll go for these guys. Support build. And I love these trucks. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and we're going to buy one for cheap and buy that as well. I mean, we have the cash to buy all of these, so I'm going to do that. And I think dogs. Dogs seem to be a prudent choice for this map, I think. All right, so... Mercenary War Pup, or Pip Pup, should I say. Shield Pip, a Puma, and then those two, and then another Barrel. Yeah, feels like that's about right. Mission Info, again, hopefully we can attack early. Oh, we're very close though. See that? We're very, very close to one another. Let's go. I didn't plan on getting to the end in this uh, video, but I might, I might just make it a little bit longer and see if we can do the final mission. There is our car. I know you can move the camera a little bit. See that? You can <laughs> move it around. Right, start and uh, as per, go straight up le double level and put that down. Accuracy is 100%, so if I can destroy this early, I'd be very good. And that, I think that's a misplay. Oh, I've still got the cannon. You can see they're coming in with stuff. There we go. Getting their snipers out. This gun's really working out for us, actually. Oh, but they are sending all kinds of rockets at us. Which I don't appreciate. Very bad of them. And I've, over I've made the gun overheat now. Let's get... Let's get the dogs out. And more mercenaries. Here's the dogs taking care of all of the business. 
and then running back and we get loads of money back anyway. Just what we want to see. Bring in Puma. Even though they've got all of these anti-armor guys at the back. I'm going to try and deal with them. Looks like I have managed to deal with them. Place another oil derrick there. Keep this economy going. And I think that Puma's a little bit too far ahead. But I'm actually waiting for a bit more cash to spawn more Puma. There we go. Double Puma. That's what we need. That's what we want. And there's more upgrades. And double Puma. Hopefully we'll work out. We're going to get a big wave. Speaking of big wave, look at the size of that wave that they've got going there. More mercenary. More mercenary is needed. Oh, big artillery strike there from our support. The spot comes out the back of the Puma at level 3. Lots of explosions. Lots of level ups. Lots of spam. <laughs> Keep spamming. Keep getting these units moved up. I think we are going to lose that Puma. Because they have rocket guys. I'm trying to deal with the rocket guys, but it's only 57% accuracy. Yeah, it's gone there. At this range, the gun is not great. But there you go. We are leveling up. We're going to get a support guy in as well. Oh, there's a Tanya as well. Didn't realise they had a Tanya. Well, it's only recently been spawned, so... Oh! That was one of the biggest explosions I've seen in the game. They got absolutely 100% sent. <laughs> and sadly, this tank now is in, in play. Um, don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with all of this. What I'm going to do is go for dogs... Lots of lots of um, mercenaries and keep spamming Puma because these dogs are going to clear house. Then we go for a full attack, full assault with the Puma. There we go. So we've got three Pumas on the field now. That feels like a job done and a job well done. Yeah. The amount of pumas we got and these guys. Job done. Job deanly done. There we go. <sighs> oh right. Marching towards that. <laughs> and look at all the stuff we've got. Brilliant. Is that two missions towards the end? Shall I continue the video or start and Nah, we're gonna continue the video, aren't we? Right. This one. It's gonna be a similar lineup, actually. It's gonna be that. Oh yeah, spam early. Dogs. Uh, oil Derrick. Uh, that thing. We need some sort of artillery. Vehicles. So many vehicles. I'm going to go with smoke and just hope we, our guys can deal with it. Heavy gunner. And that thing again. Keep going. Keep pushing forward. And, ah, so this would be horrible if you went with a high expense spam, uh, high expense um, attack rather than a spam build, because of all the mines, you know, you're just going to get, you're just going to hit the minefield and all this is going to take you out. Oh my good grief, look at that, they've got, load, they've got loads of guys. Right. So... There's those three. And we're already under attack. And I'm not confident about this already. This is, feels really bad. Yeah, there's our oil derrick gone. I didn't realise they were going to spam, like, spam vehicles this early. So, we are just taking cover now. And we just have to survive this. I'm not going to use dogs. I don't think that's worth it at this stage. But yeah, our command centre is under attack. But we are dealing with most of what's around here. Um, oh, right, I am going to use dogs. I, th I need a little bit of a... I need a break in this attack. So there's a the dog's going out. There's all the assaults there. And hopefully, yeah, they're going through the minefield as well, which sounds really horrible. Oh, the dogs are going through the minefield. Brilliant. But I'd rather... One of those go through it than a, a full 
oh yeah, that's just blown everything up there. Then a full, um, a full puma, full of guys. I would very much prefer one dog to deal with that. Look at all that. There's loads of explosions, secondaries there. Okay, so we now have a puma, but it's going the wrong way, so it's going to be taken out. <laughs> uh, far from ideal. Here's another, another big attack here. I have no idea what it is, but we shall see momentarily. I'm just spawning more units. This is going to hit. Yeah, so that puma with these mines, we can't do anything about the mines, apart from just get blokes across it. So just keep spawning mercenaries. And this is basically the time where we need to attack now. If we don't win them on this front, it's going to be extremely difficult to get through this. Um, but cash is also a massive problem. Because this thing's just coming in and absolutely dicing all of our guys. There's some of those. They're not even getting to our defences. I could use the emergency button. I'm going to have to do. What that does is cancel out one of these pips. And then give you uh, some credits. And I had to do it. Sadly, that tank is in. I think this is a loss. It's, it's starting to feel that way. I can try and stealth me guys up like that. But even then, is it possible? Yeah. Doesn't matter how stealthy you are. If you get hit by that big cannon on the tank, you're going down. I mean, we're still in the fight, but I can't deal with that tank. I need, I need a tall launcher. Right, I've spawned that to get a tall launcher, and it fires it at the thing that I didn't want. Yeah, it fired it at the wrong vehicle, so that was that was good of it. Anyway, we'll go with dogs, and see if we can get a good attack going here. There's all the dogs taking all of those out. And they've, their tank's gone as well. But it's it's, it's not going to get any easier. <laughs> right. A bit of a lull in the attack here. Let's get some... Let's get some oil derricks up just to get a bit of an economy. But we're still walking towards a minefield. Which... Well, if you know your history, is not ideal. I would say far from ideal as well. Maybe that's going a bit too far. Oh wait, no it's not. The more minefield, uh, more oil derricks I can place, the better. So let's go for defense, which gives me range. Which is taking well quite nicely. And there we go. Right. I think if we start to get a puma or something, no, again, they've just completely overwhelmed our forces. And now they're going to start attacking the oil derricks. It's a shame. But we are fully ranked up. And we can stealth up here. Let's just see how that goes. Fairly, I'm feeling fairly confident about the counter-attack. Yeah, we should be alright, I'm hoping, anyway. And just keep attacking. We've got vehicles, we've got... All sorts going on here. But, we got... It's all in red now. It's my own fault, because obviously I've been... Not, uh, I've been taking everything out when I can. Rather than just rushing towards the end. See, all of these, all these mines... Just, every, everything's just going to walk through them and we're going to lose loads of stuff I actually know the dogs have taken a big hit there for us so good guy canines still I don't think they're going to make much of a difference because if one of these mines goes off it's going to send all those units into low earth orbit to have a chat with the Hubble Space Telescope um, still bringing vehicles in though And still making good pushes, but as soon as we get to this minefield, it's going to go all kinds of south immediately. Unless we bring some artillery strikes in. But I'm not too confident on that. Everything's been 
dropped pretty good. More vehicles just to get them in quicker. Because the more vehicles I can spawn, the better. Apart from when they go over a minefield like that and everything dies. But you know, these these things are sent to try us. <laughs> so keep going for that. More vehicle, more better. I don't even think that vehicle got in by the look of it. I think it just came, went forward and hit... Yeah, that just detonated that one. Hmm. I mean, we're getting close to the front. Let me just get loads of mercs, actually. See if I can reinforce the front. And once again, tell them to attack. I'm still doing alright. But as soon as this vehicle goes forward, it's going to hit that. Boom, there you go. And half the, half the guys go as well. Our... Oh, perfect. Our smoke is here. So if you rush forward, get in the smoke. Because it doesn't cover them up, which is... Very useful for us. <laughs> oh, they have a tank. I'm desperately hoping... Mm, okay, it doesn't matter. I was going to say I'm desperately hoping that um, we'll be able to tow launch that. And what actually happened was that our guy detonated. And as you can clearly see, it doesn't seem to be touching the sides of that tank at all. Oh no, it's actually gone now. Tow missile launcher working. Right, another lull in the attack. Oh, they're driving around the minefields. No, nope, one's dead, two's dead. Cool. <laughs> more dogs. Spawn the dogs. And more mercs. If the dogs rush past and get in, that could work very much in our favour. So here's the dogs coming in. Oh, good grief. Okay. That's dealt with loads of them. We really need to, I think win it around this push though. Once these mercs come in, hopefully we'll be alright. Oh yeah, we're getting a good push on their... Good push on their base now. And there's the tow missiles coming in. Right, okay. I'm hoping that's it. I'm really hoping that's it. Keep forcing this attack. To be fair, this did say it was going to be a tough fight, and it was not wrong. There's the missile base, and we're going to spawn loads of guys here. Yep, that does feel like a success. Oh, we fought for that one. <laughs> we paid for that one. Definitely. Operation success. Enemy strength is maxed out. And here we go. <laughs> There's all of that. That was a teeth dry. That was a plumber's estimate. Not sure. Right. Fully complete. Festive table to fight. Warfighter, shotgunner, RPG warfighter, and all the vehicles on the planet. Okay. Mercs. Mercs, dogs. Um. That would be better, the pump jack. What's our mission size? Oh, 200. Uh, 200 uh, 320 meters. Right. One of those. Um, take that one. Sandbags. Defense turrets. Artillery. One of those. I'm going to have to ditch something, aren't I? Ditch those. And instead get a tank. I think I want a tank. And... Do I really want this phalanx? Could be useful. Actually, the mines could be useful as well. Landmines. No, I think that. Right. Yeah, I think that's it. Wish his luck. Actually, is there anything I can get from the arms dealer? Tank. Just get all these. Why not? Fully buy it out. Deploy. This video is going to be unbelievably long, but it's worth it. We're at the end. If you're still watching, which you obviously are because you're hearing me talking, yeah. <laughs> You know, we're in for the long haul on this one. No mines, though. So, that's good. Right. Oil derrick. Straight away up there. They also have a vehicle. I can hear it. Or just a truck, though. So, I'm going to save my money up until the point where I need to spawn two or three guys, and then we'll go forward. 
There's no point in attacking. If I had the gun, a direct gun, that would be brilliant. Right. Let's get some guys in. There we are. And yes, they're attacking these, but the guys have just spawned will hopefully be able to deal some damage. I don't want to spam dogs yet. But you can see we are going forward. Another rank up. Let's get some defences up. Oh! What, what I'm there? I think they just sent loads of rockets at me or something. Get some defences up. I'll keep our ranking going. And I think I will send dogs very shortly. I'm going to go for one of those. Dogs are going out. More units. And we're going to start to unlock that thing. Defences are going out. Dogs are charging, taking all that. That's mainly just to stop their sort of big wave back. Hang on, have they got a vehicle? Oh no, just... They have got vehicles, but nothing massive. And... Pump jacks. Right. I didn't expect us to get to this stage now. There's more vehicles. More defence. More vehicles. <laughs> and, oh, has everything been taken out? It has been. And that tow launcher missed. That one didn't. <laughs> right. We need more. <gasps> Here we go. So this is an airstrike. Never used it on video before. Let's see what it does. It goes... And then it drops all of these right down the middle. That's what we like to see. And that means that the attack is well and truly underway. Cash is not a problem. <laughs> and we are very much getting in. Going to go for level up. And another one of those. I can't believe how strong our economy is. It's not, it's not pips that are the problem. Uh, sorry, it's it's not money that's a problem, it's the pips. We don't have any. I don't have as many as I really need. Oh, there we go. There's a good spawn. Hang on, are we going to are we gonna be able to get, like, right in here? Oh, there's a tank and Tanya. Tanya's gone. There's just a tank left. Come on, get the tank. Darn it. Uh, one, two, three. More vehicles. More dogs. Don't say we've managed to do this this early. I mean, please do say that, because this would be brilliant if we did. That's a win, that, surely. That is a win. Spam early. Look at all that coming in as well. Very happy with that. Operation success. That wasn't as difficult as the previous one. Could be due to loadout, could be due to balance. I don't know what, but either way, there's loads of stuff we've got. Continue. Achievement unlocked. Uh, Island Invader. There you are. Congratulations. You've completed the current campaign for Well Pips Early Access. But don't worry, there's more to come. We have more islands, units, and maps planned for the future. So please check our roadmap to see what's coming next. Thanks for playing. Right. So that was the third island and a full complete on that one. Brilliant. So obviously I could go back and do a new campaign. There's also the skirmish mode as well, where you can select easy, challenging, or hard. So, yeah. I think that's close to nine hours to complete that tutorial. Admittedly, I did do every single mission on that island. And, yeah. Very much enjoyed that. Very much indeed. Would love to see some, like, you know, more campaign islands. Or even, I don't know if, I assume it's not randomly generated. It would be nice if it was, like, dynamically generated to be a bit different. Um, my comments still stand from at the start. I really wish there'd be... You could st do the whole Merc spam, more you, more boots on the ground, but nerf them in other ways. I just like the theme of that, just loads of those. And obviously there'll be some balance changes to be made here and there, and more stuff to add. And I really hope we get heroes at some point, as well as sort of different commanders. The commanders that would give you different themes, so you would have the infantry commander that would give like bonuses to infantry, but vehicles would say cost more, or the armor commander, or the sp you know, different, that, it's just something you can theme your army around. It feels like it would really benefit, but you know, it is what it is. Either way, it t has not certainly taken away from the game, and very much enjoyed that. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of Warpips, let me know, but 
it would be most likely a checking out of the skirmish or maybe even a new campaign maybe in a series i know people requested that but yeah either way hope you have enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings